The emergence of starting to put sensors inside cutting tools just allows us to get way more insight right from the cutting tool itself. So we don't have to rely on just the operators, we can rely on technology to put the sensors into the right context. The real key here is the ability to analyze the data at the, at the highest levels. The eventuality of taking this data and starting to do machine learning against that data and then taking that, that learning and applying it in different areas. So data that comes out of a machining application, you can apply back to your planning applications, right? A CAM system or something like that, and start to customize that work based on actual output from the machining application. Today, we change a cutting tool because the machine tool says it's time to change the tool. And what we actually want to do is turn that around and have the tool tell the machine, I'm done. I would say this is real scary for a, a, a lot of shops. Machine shops today, and, and kind of machining people, we're kind of the most conservative group of people you'll ever run across. Trying to move them from a simple cutting tool to another cutting tool is hard enough, but when we say we want to start to put sensors in tools and hook their machines up and run data to the cloud, they are quite frightened, quite honestly. And, and, and there's kind of a good reason for that. It's the unknown but at the same time, there should be as much excitement about it as well. Cora Plus is, essentially, it's a suite of digitally connected solutions for the machine shop. In this area here, we have something that we just introduced today, and this is something we call Machining Insights. It connects to your machine tools, and it pulls data from your machine tools, collects them into a factory gateway, and then sends that data to the cloud. What I can do now is I can then go to the cloud and I can access all the data about those machine tools. It's tremendous insight into what's going on with your machine tools. This is another solution that we're introducing. We've embedded sensors into this tool holder and then we have a Bluetooth capability so we can pick up the sensor data remotely that actually monitors the health of this particular unit. If there's something starting to go wrong with the bearings, right, the spindle bearings or maybe excess heat, we can actually pick that up kind of from the inside out and then know to actually send this for repair or some sort of maintenance. Core Plus Process Control, essentially what this does is it's able to monitor your machine tool and it's actually looking for an anomaly. Maybe I've broken a tool. It can react to that tool breakage within five milliseconds. So if it detects a tool breakage, five millisecond reaction time shuts down the machine. So what you do is you start protecting major damage to your machine tool. Silent Tools Plus is actually what we call a digitally enhanced solution of a kind of what we would call a legacy solution. It's a technology that takes vibration out of a long overhang boring application. We now have a positioning sensor on this bar. So remotely, when I rotate this bar, you can see this this is actually moving. And when I get into the area where it's, it's, it's where it needs to be, it lights up, I lock the tool down, and I can start running. The second thing it does is it actually monitors the performance of the tool. So if I have vibration or I have something going on, excess load, I can see that actually in terms of the actual cutting process. So as an operator, if I'm running this machine and I see something that looks like it's not right, I can make adjustments and fix that. What we've done in the, in the tooling industry for the last you know, 20, 30 years is this kind of this improvement of cutting productivity, right? Making the tools better. What we're doing now with the digital, it's kind of less about making improvements in the actual machining process and actually addressing areas that keep you from machining, right? reducing the downtime and actually improving your utilization of your machine tools and of your equipment. That's really where the key here is and, it's, and it really is trying to keep people ahead of their competitors.